Now, the need to create awareness on the dangers of substance abuse and the impact on young people has been re-echoed. Now, these form the main thrust of a health seminar organized by the Christ Hospital Ministry in Nigeria to commemorate its 22nd annual conference. The hospital ministry says it is worried about the dimension substance abuse is taking on Nigerian youth, hence the focus on prevention. Recently, the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, NDLEA, reported that 14.3 million Nigerians between the ages of 15 and 64 are involved in drug abuse. While fielding questions from newsmen, President of the CHM Nigeria, Reverend Samuel Ajibola, lamented the devastating effect of the menace on the family and the society. Guest speaker at the seminar, Dr. Olajumo Kekoyejo, called for collaborative efforts to tackle substance abuse in the board while also tasking government on better policies. The way of escape or to overcome of drug abuse, the most important thing is the awareness whereby both adults and young and the community will be aware of the danger of the drug abuse and also in order to prevent it of growing among the young people, especially with the exposure that is happening on the social media now. Today we believe by bringing the children from different schools and now bring the expertise that can educate us about drug abuse, that will help us in order for us to prevent it. Government um, policies and implementation of these policies is extremely important. Okay, let, me, let me give you an example. Now, if, when you go to Lagos State Parks, they don't sell substance there anymore. So it is not at least accessible to them. Before now, they would display it glaringly. So if you make it, if, you, if they tax it to the high heavens and it becomes, it's not easily accessible to people, it's not affordable to them. These are policies that would help in reducing it. And I talked about the school prevention. It's very important. Life skill training for our school. We can't, there won't be appreciable um, improvements if the Ministry of Education is not part of this. We're joking. So these are things that, if, if the, uh, at attractiveness training, uh, the life skills of our children are built. It gives them leverage, it, it, it helps them in saying no to these substances and to hold on to it. To it. Even in, in their decision-making skills, this would really help, help, help our children. Now, chairperson of the ministry in Nigeria, Joyce Akionla, informed that the theme of the seminar was born out of the need to catch them young as the trend has eaten deeply into the fabric of the society. She spoke alongside a participant. As much as we try to avoid talking about it, and right before our eyes is getting spreading, is spreading. So the churches are shying away from talking about this, and I'm afraid to say even when we're talking about AIDS and uh, HIV, HIV, whatever you want to call it, the churches were shying away from this. There are some things you can't shy away from. It's a problem in the society, and the churches, the mosques, must be able to face. If they, call, if, they, if, they, if they address it in the mosques, in the churches, it will help us. Because the, 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 the younger ones tend to believe more in the clergymen, in the imams. They tend to believe what they say to them. But we're dodging it. We're not even talking about this in the churches. And we believe that... It's a sin to even talk about it. Um, at first, she told us on how to, like, what psychoactive substances. And psychoactive substances, they are like drugs that alter the brain relaxation. And when, like, they hijack the brain from relaxing. So, um, examples of psychoactive substances, they are marijuana, cocaine, cannabis, and so on. For example, now, like, if the government could, like, establish a like a prevention against drug abuse, like drug abuse scheme, a prevention on it. And also if schools could like be more effective in like the social life of students. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.